Prince George's County police officers have written 94 tickets this year for motorists that pass a school bus stopped letting off kids. Now they're getting some extra help with cameras on board. School districts in Montgomery and Charles counties have similar programs. Caroline Tucker has more. Michael Rudder has spent 18 years in PG County driving this big yellow bus. That's the number one issue. You know, to make sure the kids don't get on and off the bus in a safety manner. He's seen his share of close call. Although they might be seeing the red flashing lights, some of them, them pay not, no mind at all, no attention at all. Now, when a driver doesn't stop when those lights are out, he has some extra eyes, a camera fitted to the side of his ride. We're not going to be out there with a tape measure, obviously, looking for 20 feet, but if, if, if they pass the school bus or... Um, get close enough that it causes a hazard, we're, we're going to recognize that violation. These cameras can record a car that passes the bus either coming from the front or behind. PG County police will get a copy and decide if it's a true violation. The car's owner will be slapped a $125 fine. And this, again, is opposed to a ticket that if it was issued by a police officer would be $570. Xerox is supplying 20 cameras at no cost for PG County's pilot program for this school year. Violation revenues will be split between the county and Xerox. We would love to see no tickets go out because that means no one's passing our buses and everyone's obeying the law and our children are safe. Rudder hopes drivers will finally notice the warning signs. I could be thinking of your child, or somebody else's child as a neighbor, and they get run over. You know, what could you come and tell me or come and tell the parents what, what you have did? In Prince George's County, Caroline Tucker, News Channel 8.